We need a great awakening. Not of just a, an awakening to people saying a prayer. We need a, an awakening to righteousness. We need an awakening to the fear of God. To such a degree as people uh, come into obedience and maturity. People begin to self-govern their lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. People begin to crucify the flesh and all of its desires, putting to death whatever is earthly in them. These are all commands of the Bible, of the New Testament. And this is how the early church viewed things. That once you are born of the Spirit, you get a new nature. Your spirit is recreated in the perfect righteousness of Jesus Christ. You get a new nature. And out of that nature, you choose to crucify your enemy and God's enemy, the old nature, the sin nature, the evil nature. It's called all of those things, depending on your translation. And awaken to righteousness, die to sin, and awaken to righteousness, and beginning to grow up into him in every way, doing the same works and greater. How about this? Going into all nations and making disciples. Could you imagine the nations discipled into this kind of a, a son? A son that has crucified the flesh and all of its desires and is able to release the power of God at will to overcome any situation, any sickness, any disease, any work that needs to be done. This is the glory of the freedom of the children of God that's going to set nations free from their captivity of sin and death. We are to make death of no effect, not only in our lives, but in the nations. It doesn't say go into all nations and make conversions, pray a prayer, see people saved. It says make disciples. And a disciple has to know how to come into maturity in order to be a disciple. They know have to know what it means to obey the gospel. 